this storm will hit many of us while we're sleeping. But for those of us who are going to be out on the roads tonight, NBC 26's Jenna Bree tells us how to stay safe while driving in strong winds. This month, we've driven in rain, we've driven in snow, and now... High winds is definitely an extreme driving condition. Jason Kren says whether you're driving a semi-truck or a small car... Reducing your speed is great, going to greatly reduce the effect that the wind has on pushing your vehicle around your lane. When you think of windy bridges, there's probably one in particular that comes to mind, the Leo Frigo Memorial Bridge. Now, truck driving instructors say on a night like tonight, you might just want to avoid bridges like this. The Leo Frigo Bridge is known for high wind gusts, right? And so if at all possible, there's other routes in the Green Bay area. Truck drivers need to consider that. Cars uh, driving on those overpasses too need to consider the fact that if there's a truck in that area, you know, just give them enough space. Rob Banke says he tells students their deliveries can wait. If they're not comfortable with it, they need to pull the truck over and find a safe place to park, right? Now, I understand at the industry, we need to keep things moving. I, I fully understand that, but you also have to use your better judgment. You want to be safe out there. And if you're not comfortable with operating that vehicle in the weather, you really need to, to pull that truck over, get it to a safe place and park it for until the weather passes. He says other drivers on the road should give semi trucks extra space tonight. If we respect each other going down the road, especially when it gets windy out, it's going to be a much safer roadway. In Green Bay, Jenna Bree, NBC 26.